country. The second summit of the Inter-Party Organization for Dialogue was held in Entebbe, but for the second time running, Uganda's leading opposition political party, the Forum for Democratic Change Party, did not attend. IPOD brings together political parties represented in parliament. According to FDC, it's pointless to attend the summit when the police and other state security agencies have criminalized the mobilization activities of opposition political parties and violated the rights of their members to assemble and associate freely. If the environment does not allow us to correct views on dialogue with anyone, from the FDC leaders and supporters who are the real owner of this institution called the FDC, we are afraid we can't carry our own opinions into these meetings. So that has been properly communicated to iPod. FDC also accuses the ruling NRM government of lack of goodwill to promote multi-party politics and attempts to divert the agenda of the summit from more important issues such as electoral reforms and focusing on what FDC calls trivial issues. Earlier resolutions of iPod are not taken serious. We together sat and agreed on electoral and political reforms. We even reduced them in two bills. They were presented to the Deputy Speaker of Parliament. They were thrown away that there is no time. NTV engaged some political analysts who argued that since FDC is Uganda's largest opposition political party, the boycott of the iPod summit may play into FDC's favor. The FDC might be concerned that uh, some of their most diehard supporters might uh, find it rather curious that they are trying to work with the government because uh, some of these extreme elements of the opposition support can be rather rough. The FDC is using it as a way of getting some sort of um, um, getting the NRM to the negotiating table such that they can be able to at least get some winning points out of the dialogue. Bernard Sabiti, a political analyst and researcher, argues that the meetings held under iPod may not yield much due to the differences in opinion and political strategy. The differences and the selfishness, the personalization tendencies in our uh, political organization is just too great that nobody is willing to see the ground for the national good. And Macquarie University Law Don Dr. Kakunglu Mayambala says the FDC boycott of iPod is a big blow to smaller political parties. They may end up getting into a situation of what we've heard of the good DP, the bad DP. So they may they may they they, they, they are likely to run a potential of passing off as opposition which is NRM leaning. So that might project them badly, it might, spot them, it might put them in a bad spotlight um, ahead of the elections. While if the FDC has clear issues why they've left the dialogue, they may portray themselves as the likely alternative voice. The Inter-Party Organization for Dialogue was formed in 2009 to give a platform to political parties represented in Parliament to dialogue on key issues affecting their operations and the country so as to jointly find solutions. Suhail Mugabe, NTV.